Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sadeem Madan. Uh, I am your anatomy faculty and uh, I welcome all of you guys to the 15 days 15 concept series where today we are meeting on the day 8 and we are going to discuss one more concept. Dear friends, today I am going to discuss one very very easy topic but from little bit different perspective because the topic name is pharyngeal arches. I am sure that you know about the pharyngeal arches but I'll give you a little bit different perspective and I help you how to remember uh, the important points, the derivatives, nerve supply, everything about the pharyngeal arches. So let us quickly go through. So when you look at this table, this is a table from the Langman's book of embryology. So we have the like five pharyngeal arches. Why five? Because the fifth arch either does not appear. If it appears, it will disappear soon. So eventually we have five arches. So one, two, three, four and six. So they have like different nerves supplying them and they have the derivative in the form of like skeletal derivative and the muscular derivative. So we will be looking at them one by one. First of all, let us look at the nerve supply. Then we will see the derivatives regarding the nerve supply. Let us learn in this way. So we have the vitamin K dependent factors, which are two, seven, nine, ten. We have the parasympathetic nerves, which are three, seven, nine, ten. But if you combine them, means uh, not combine them, if 2 and 3 only you will add, then you will get the pharyngeal arches nerve supply 5, 7, 9, 10. So it is kind of in a sequence. So that's why I have put it like this. So kind be, uh, it is kind of a uh, little bit helpful for you to remember. But anyway, if I show you what are the nerves, like for the first arch, we have the mandibular nerve. Second arch, we have the facial then glossopharyngeal and then for the fourth and sixth they are the branches of vagus superior laryngeal recurrent laryngeal like that now talking about the muscular derivative for the first arch we will use this mnemonic my must aunt digest tension so mnemonic to funny hai that's okay but isko use kaise karna hai we have this mnemonic from my will remember mylohyoid must say will remember mastication means the group of muscle of mastication where we have the four muscles okay and undigest means anterior belly of digastric and the tension may we have two tensor muscles tensor valley palatini and tensor tympani so it is easy this way we'll use this mnemonic we'll remember the derivatives muscular derivative from the first arch but the second arch derivatives muscular derivative we can derive from here so mylohyoid from the first arch stylohyoid from the second arch Mastication is a group of muscle. From the second arch also, we have a group of muscle. Which group? Facial expression. Then anterior belly of digastric, the counterpart will be posterior belly of digastric. And lastly, we do not have any tensors. But we have the one bone developing from the second arch, that is stapes. Because malleus and incus, they come from the first arch. So stapes ke his abse, we have the stapedius muscle over there, right? Now, dear friends, this is about the muscles because from the first arch and second arch, we have uh, more muscles, which I have given you how to remember. And we can see the nerve supply also, the trigeminal 5th, 7th, 9th and 10th. I hope that makes sense now. Muscle part by and large is done. But remaining part, but we have not covered, how we will remember? So we will now look at the pharyngeal arches in, in, in a sequence, how the baby grows. Like when the baby is very small, what he will do? feed so the first arch is related to feed means the skeletal elements those skeletal elements they are somehow concerned with the mastication let me zoom in for you guys so this is the derivative for the first arch premaxilla maxilla zygomatic right we have the temporal even the malleus and incus is very very important this is asked in the exam so after feed when the baby will grow up what he will do he will smile so the second arch that means smile means facial expression. It is concerned with the facial expression. But what are the derivatives? We write S for the second. All the derivatives are also from the S. Like let me zoom in. Stapes, styloid, stylohyoid ligament, superior body and the smaller cornu or the smaller horn of the hyoid. So because we look at this way, except for the first three, the last two, if you look at, these are the part of hyoid. Okay, but why I am emphasizing if we compare this with the third arch. After third arch, you see, we are following the baby. First was feed, then second, smile. And after that, baby will come, uh, like he'll grow, he'll come with a style. Okay. 
Now this particular portion I have already highlighted because I said the last two will be discussed with the third arch. Why? Second and third together they make the hyoid. Why it is interesting? Because name of the first arch is mandibular arch. It makes the mandible and the rest of the uh, nearby bones concerned with the mastication. Name of the second arch is hyoid arch, but it does not make the complete hyoid. It makes some part of it, but the remaining part will be taken care of by the third arch. So let me zoom in. Here you can see greater lesser horn by the second arch. So the greater horn is remaining. That is from the third arch. Upper part of the body is already formed. So lower part of the body will be formed. And here the word style. Style means stylopharynges. That is the only muscle supplied by the glossopharyngeal nerve. I hope now you're understanding. So first was feeding, the baby start taking feeding, then smile, then style. And after that, baby will grow up and baby will sing. For singing, what is required? Larynx. So all the laryngeal cartilages and along with uh, that, you can see the muscles of the pharynx are there. Intrinsic muscles of larynx are there. Okay. So this is a little bit different approach where we have learned about the nerve supply, about the muscles of the arches as well as the skeletal derivative of the arches. I hope you understood and you enjoyed the session. So thank you so much everyone uh, for being with me in all throughout these days in my series. And I'm looking forward to meet you guys again on the day nine on this series. Okay. Thank you so much. Take care.